the penultimate video of this set of requested towers. This is episode number 7. Next video will be the four video championship in which a grand prize winner will be decided. The four towers that I'm going to play in that video are going to be towers suggested in comments. So if you have any towers of your own you'd like me to potentially play in requested towers 8 or in any future episodes of this series, then please leave a comment with the tower ID. But for now, this is just going to be a video with one winner of the video and that's it. So let's get started. Our first tower is Tower of Infiltrated Lumination. It was by this person, it has this ID, and was from this comment. They said the tower has different concepts for different floors, so I should skip around. But we'll just start at floor 1 for now. From a distance, especially with the lighting effect that it just added, why is my mouse being annoying? It looks very cool, I like this a lot. Okay, I know I said let's start at floor 1, but actually let's start, like, uh, here. There's arrows, so I feel confident that I probably go this way. Hopefully there weren't buttons I was supposed to press. Oh, okay, so there is a frame, it's just invisible. Is this like a fading part? Yeah, okay. So jump to there. Nice. I like the colors you- What? It says this one fades fast. Okay, that- Maybe you should put that like right there or something. Uh, as I was saying, I like the colors you chose for this tower. Or at least like this first part. You did say the different floors are themed differently. Well, I mean, I can tell that like the first four or so are all similar. Uh, almost missed that. Because there would be so many problems if I did. These are seats, all right? Uh, there we go. Okay. Consistency of jumps I'm seeing some of, which is nice. So like we have a few different client objects we're seeing throughout this, but a lot of it is like purest, but with like a client object every couple jumps. So I like that. Keep jumping. Oh, I probably should have read that before I jumped to that. Okay. This is a problem probably. Or yeah, definitely. All right, we're gonna move on to the next floor, or like the next section, I guess. That was like four floors. The colors have changed here, and it's like you're inside now, which is interesting. A contrasting section, yes. But we're still seeing some familiar client objects. Water. Just a teleporter back, so, okay. Uh, what do I- oh, I do that. Okay, so I gotta- there we go. Cool. Nice use of spinners there. Fall after you hit the button. Okay. Like, huh? Oh, like, do that? I think a new path has opened. This is like the other one. Yeah, that is another fast spading. Spading? Disable shift lock before you flip. Do I need to, like... Oh, wait, it turned... It, like, made me face that... Okay, I didn't need to press shift lock, but it's fine. Uh, that's not what I was supposed to... Shouldn't I have, like, landed on that? Okay, whatever. Just do that. That works. Okay. Button. Apparently the teleport's back here. Okay. I would think it's supposed to deactivate that, but that didn't seem to happen. Maybe I can still wrap around it, though. No, the edges are can't collide false. Oh, I think I did actually land that. I went into no clip though, so I guess we'll never know. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I hit that now, and that'll take me up here. Uh, is this, like, above the other area? Yeah. Another floor, probably. Let me zoom out! Okay, it's actually the same floor, but another, like... What do you want to call it? Side, maybe? Not really, though. But it's like we're higher up, but still it's on the same floor. None of that made any sense. Okay, one second to get all the way over there? That can't be right. Well, those are things. Maybe that will have something to do with something later, so I'll just skip over that since I apparently can. Or it looks like I can. I may come back to it like I said. Yeah, maybe I should just skip to the next section. Uh, there's probably something new here. Yeah. Alright, that was the teleporter. I definitely didn't use no clip or anything. Okay, so this is... Wait, what? Huh? Was it... Did, I, did my brain just break? Yes, it did. I, I, okay, it just looks kinda similar. Okay, that was cool. And there's a button with arrows going over here. Okay, so I go up here, and now I go over here, and... and that ain't right. And what? Are these like elevators or something? No, they're... Wait. No, I think I'm supposed to land on that. Okay, in the timing, go, 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 go. Is it? I can't tell. I don't know. I think this is about the end, because there doesn't seem to be anything up here. All right, a cool tower with contrasting sections. I like that a lot. And this first part is definitely thumbnail worthy. Can't like it because loading folder, because... <laughs> but here's the tower ID once again, and let's move on to the next one. All right, our next tower is Tower of Instantly Quitting. It took quite a while to load, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't feel like waiting like five hours for that three second joke. It's by this person, it has this ID, and it's from this comment. Lag is really bad already, so you know what time it is. Canister mode and super duper ultra lobby LDM button that will make your game go 6000 FPS. Why didn't that fix it? Well, this is a very laggy tower. Hmm, maybe that's why it took so long to load. There's also a floor select, which is nice, because I am in a public server, and we'll be giving this a shot without no clip. That ain't good. Okay, let's turn that on graphics, since I didn't seem to, uh, 
it's still lagging. Why did that make the lag work? Okay, I'll leave it. I'll leave graphics down anyway. Button. 12 seconds. Go, 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 go. I think that was what I needed to get to. Okay. Spinny. These appear the closer you are to them, but don't stay too long on them. Aww. Okay, can I just, like, jump? Yeah. As long as I don't have that happen, but I end up actually falling. I wonder how you made that. Probably, like, a timed button, maybe, where you can't see the timer, but, like, it's surrounding the part. So, like, when you hit that button, it'll activate it for a second. Okay, there's a button here. If I were to guess, it's probably another timed button. Yes, it is. Go, 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 go. Actually, I passed the area I was supposed to get to. Hmm. Uh-oh. That's not good. Please tell me there's a truss. Okay, there is. Good. Oh, I'm about to die. Um, that's probably not a good thing. Yeah, I haven't been paying attention to that at all, so, uh... So that means if I'm in this situation, then I gotta just stand around and heal for a while. I was somewhere. I don't remember what I missed, but I don't remember this. So I'm probably supposed to go this way. Well, I probably don't wall hop, but I wonder if I... Yeah, I definitely could wall hop. Uh. Yeah, I don't think you'll hear me loudly screeching because it's like 10 p.m. And I'm sure the other people in my house wouldn't appreciate that. Um, ever really, but especially at 10 p.m. Actually, it's 10.55 p.m. Hmm. Oh, I didn't even have to go into climbing animation, I just do that. Okay, cool. So now I face the problem of, I don't know where I'd go. Like, do I go that way or do I go that way? Well, it appears the previous floor ended there, so, uh, yeah, I think I was supposed to go this way. Except there's some button activated thing. Is this an anti-cheese? No, I see the button up there. Okay, so I do just need to go this way. Button. Okay, this one is not timed, so that means I- Looks like things get more interesting up there, so let's skip to that floor. Which would be one, two, three, seven. Luckily, there's a floor select. So let's just start here and see how far I can get. Was I supposed to do that? Oh, I was. Okay. There's arrows pointing this way, which would indicate yes. You go, like, underneath here. That's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, whoa. Button maze? I like this mechanic a lot. There's not a whole lot to commentate about because it's just running around. There we go. That seems to do something. Go back to the top now. Alrighty. It probably deactivated something, but I don't remember seeing anything that would have been deactivated because I wasn't looking for it. Bleh. And it might be fully invisible now. Oh, I go this way. Okay, that makes more sense. And, uh, oh wait, that's a elevator. Whoa. I thought it was just like a solid part. But no, I cannot jump on top of that. Well, actually, yeah, I can, sort of. I do that. Uh, scary. Okay, now it's kind of like a... Head hitter jump. Let me go into first person by pressing I because my mouse is broken for some reason. Okay, so let me... That that wasn't right. Oh, I still made it in time. Okay, that's good. I was trying to jump like on top of it. That way I'd have the maximum time, but it's okay because I still made it. Oh, watch this uh, 360. Yeah. Or you know what? Let's call it in radians. Uh, watch that 2 pi. Okay, let's, let's skip to the last... Uh, what's it called? Floor. Oh, I hit- uh, uh-oh, please don't run out of time. I don't wanna have to do that again for, like, the eighth time. Actually, it's not that many. Feels like it sometimes, though. Okay, so, moving parts. There it is. Cool visual, visual thing. Jump. Uh, okay, I shouldn't have jumped, I think. It's okay, I didn't fall, though. Probably will, momentarily. Yay! I'm so good at this game for successfully pressing the F key. Oh, and it appears I go to, like, the previous platform for- one second. Okay, I don't think that's a moving thing. I was about to say, watch it move away from me as soon as I start to jump to it, but I think it's actually, there's probably some teleporter, maybe it's a safety net, uh, that just prevents you from falling immediately after getting teleported. So like, if you keep moving, you'll hit the side of that instead of walking off the platform. Jump. Let me just like, walk like that, okay. What? Not sure why I got teleported. My foot may have like clipped through the part and hit like at the teleporter, which maybe was like right below or something. Yeah, I'm definitely missing this jump. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I missed that jump though. But there is a safety net. Okay, that's good. Uh, no, I was on the platform. Okay, I give up. Well, I didn't instantly quit. Cool tower that once again I can't like because annoying. But here's the tower ID once again. For tower of infiltrated illumination versus tower of instantly quitting, this is a very interesting matchup indeed. The winner is Tower of Infiltrated Lumination. The gameplay on both of these towers was very good, but Tower of Infiltrated Lumination won because of its design. Tower of Instantly Quitting did have a good design from like a distance, but like when you're actually in the parkour, there wasn't a whole lot to that. And also optimization, I think definitely could be better. 
you know, even with these on, it's still, like, super laggy. Not that there's really anything you can do besides, like, getting rid of a ton of the client objects. Next up, we got Tower of Juxtaposition Scrutinize. A tower by this person, with this ID, and from this comment. Alas, my paltry vocabulary nathless inhibits my adroitness in the comprehension of complex linguistic construction. Zzz. Juxtaposition. The fact of two things being seen or placed closely together with contrasting effect. Scrutinize. Examine or inspect closely and thoroughly. Okay, so we'll be... Let me zoom. Okay, so will we be examining closely contrasting things? What does this say? I can read kind of that. I can't read it all. Hmm, what happens if I go the pro swag swag? I can't speak. What am I doing? Why am I recording videos at 11 p.m.? I see. Okay, it's just another route into the tower, because why not? Welcome to Tower of Juxtaposition Scrutinize. From the name, you may guess the tower's gimmick. Let's hope you do. Anyway, this is going to be a long and bizarre adventure, so good luck and have fun. Require a dynamite to enter. There doesn't seem to be anything there. Maybe it's, like, button activated or something. Actually, they did say this tower was unfinished, so maybe it's, like, something you come back to way later in the tower, which they haven't built yet, or something. Bleh. Oh, it's Cancolite False, and I fell anyway. Okay, miscolored things are Cancolite False. Okay, now that I understand that, I will now apply my knowledge and do that. Yay! Ugh. Okay, that's miscolored, so it'll be Cancolite False. Or not. No, I literally just imagined that that's a different color. Is, is that- Is that not? It's just- It's just the way the light is hitting it. The light is in my eye. Wait, couldn't I just jump down there? Maybe it is button activated. Upon further consideration. Because if it goes, like, right above that, then it would kind of defeat the purpose of whatever. Um, yeah. What difficulty was this again? I guess I haven't decided it, because it says easy, which is the default- like, by default, the portal looks like that, and this is definitely not easy difficulty gameplay. Probably more, like, difficult, I'd say. Oh, I thought something would be sus about those platforms, because they looked susly easy. Alright, another outside, so let's go to the outside, and almost fall. Balloon. Oh, I go over here. <gasps> no! Let me try a pro epic gamer shortcut. Someone showed me how to do this one time. I forget exactly how. Um, I think I need to not- it's not that. Okay, hold on. I need to- do that. I think I- it's something like that. Okay, I lack sufficient brain cells for this. Uh, I guess I gotta start over. Go over here. Is that like a balloon destroyer? I think so. And this is gonna be a conveyor launch, I assume. Or... Maybe not. Probably goes- oh, I, okay, it's not. I jumped to there. I was gonna say it probably goes pretty fast still, though, but no. Okay, so miscolored is collide false. I like these spinner things, but the platform stays level the whole time. I almost missed that, that would be bad. Okay, is this like a soft lock? Who knows? Almost fell into the maybe soft lock. And I'm such a gamer that I didn't. And finish the section. Alright, so go this way to the next floor. Hooray! Alright, another out- uh oh, that- Knowing that this thing is Cancolite false, uh, let me just jump to there, and then I think I can just jump up here. Maybe not. Uh, <gasps> I underestimated whether I made that. I need to jump to one of the not miscolored things. Why is this red? Maybe it's button activated. Okay, that's icy, as I suspected. Is this kind of like true? Why, yes it is. Alright. Another outside. Whoa. Whoa. Cool tower. First like. That was Tower of Juxtaposition Scrutinized. Here's the tower ID once again, and let's move on to the final tower of this video. Our final tower is called Citadel of Pipe Pressure. By this person, and they mention in the comment, like four people, so approximately three other people, with this ID and from this comment, which you just saw. Chemistry moments would be Hey player, so the first floor isn't done yet, and the citadel is definitely not finished. Only around four floors are finished compared to the 13 floors in the citadel. To get to the second floor, just use the elevator right here. Well, let's speed run the first floor. Go, 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 You have, like, a whole animation when you miss it. This thing's kind of cool, though. Whee! Corner flip to get inside of the pipe and enter the other side. To corner flip, you must press F on your keyboard. Yay. Glad you made it to floor two. Throughout the Citadel, pipes will appear frequently as we cannot progress to different floors correctly. Yeah, sorry, the Citadel's creator decided to be pick and create this frame. Also, each floor from now on is safety netted unless another floor is under it. Okay, I see a button over here. Um... Well, that's why you shouldn't do tight rips like that. Six. Go, 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 ah! That was close. Okay. Um, I wonder if I can jump on top of here. Surely I can. And this is surely worth my time to skip 
one wraparound. Okay, so I was supposed to press F. Well, that was kind of cool. On the other one, I was going to say, I, I probably need to do that there. But now I see you don't. Okay, maybe it's just for the ones, like, between the floors. Ah, oh, scary. Wow. What? All right, so these kill bricks, yeah, they do a lot of damage, actually. So I should probably try to avoid those and just, like, get to the center as quickly as I can. Okay, do that. Nice. Is this one just, like, over a giant pipe? So it is. The slow, dramatic zoom out because the mouse is broken. Look, if I try to zoom in... Why? And jump to there, and to there, and to there. Oh, I thought I needed to press F. Okay. Well, even though I fell immediately, there's a teleporter there, so it doesn't matter. I see a platform over here. This is going to be a tricky jump, probably. Oh, I still made it. Let's go. Is that the end? I think maybe it is. I don't see anywhere else to go. At least that I haven't already been. Actually, I think there is more. There's just, like floor selects here. Also, there's something dangerous lying up ahead. I would be careful if I were you. Oh boy, good luck with this one. If you fall, you will be teleported to floor three. Good luck. One or two. And he's like button challenges, probably. Wow. That was kind of cool. I like that. Boing. Button. Whee okay, let's land straight onto this one. I'm so skilled. A curved tightrope. But, like, not curved the way tightropes are normally curved. Okay. Oh, that was... Never mind. I thought I missed that, but I didn't. Okay. Another pipe. Probably corner flip. This is gonna take forever. Hello. Ah, sorry. Welcome to my floor. Kinda a break floor. Good job on surviving that floor. So, uh, anyways, are you excited for GD 2.2? Yes? No? Was this made before Geometry Dash 2.2? Okay, anyways, bye. Drop. Wow, that was interesting. Touch players for text. Okay. Drop. Right, because I I guess I hit the button with my arm or something. Yeah. Well, that was that floor. All right, let's go to this gray floor. However, I cannot simply let you succeed that easily. Prepare for more challenges ahead in this floor. You are almost there. Keep persevering. Do I wrap there? Yes. All right, like going back and forth between the walls. Kind of cool. Oh, I'm supposed to avoid those. Button. Five seconds. Go 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 go. I really am evil, aren't I? Use the pipe in the wall to fling yourself to the next platform. I did something. I did something. I did something. You thought this was over? Yeah, no. This is the hardest floor for a reason. Think that's the end. Uh, is it? Yeah, I think so. I don't see anything else. Two creators floor. Epic. Whoa. 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 Yay! I wasn't like, so satisfying. I'm gonna do that again. I definitely didn't fall the first jump or anything uh, as soon as I got teleported. In fact, that was so satisfying. I'm gonna do that not two times, but three times. Definitely not because I missed this jump twice in a row somehow. Apparently I gotta time this quite, quite rightly. There we go. Okay. Pipe. Corner flip? Whoa. Whoa. Optical illusion. Thing. Normal pipe, launch pipe. Oh, is that like to be copy pasted from or something? I think so, because I think that's the end. Alright, cool citadel that I can actually like. Yay! Here's the tower ID once again. The winner between tower of juxtaposition, scrutinize, and citadel of pipe pressure is citadel of pipe pressure. And the reason is because it was the creative and unique and memorable mechanic in the citadel, that being the pipes and stuff. But now for the video finals for requested Tower 7, Tower of Infiltrated Lumination versus Citadel of Pipe Pressure. The winner is... Tower of Infiltrated Lumination. When it comes to detail, I think Tower of Infiltrated Lumination definitely had more of it, so that's why it has secured the dub. So yeah, that's it for Requested Towers 7. Just a single video winner. But next video, Requested Towers 8, the final video of this set of Requested Towers video, a set being eight videos needed to determine a four-video championship winner. That video will have a two-video championship, three-video championship, and four-video championship. So will Citadel of Anomalous Discoveries, the three-video championship winner announced in Requested Towers 4, does it have what it takes to go up against whoever will be the winner of the three-video championship in the next video? Stay tuned to find out. With that, thanks for watching, and have a great day.